Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to add multiple users to have access to our QuickBooks online account. I've got to sneeze. False alarm. Okay, so this could be good and bad for different reasons. Uh, it could be good because maybe you have a partnership. Uh, maybe you trust somebody that knows how to use QuickBooks online better than you. Maybe you want to send your login information to an accountant. Um, this, again, and there's different tiers of accessibility. Like if you don't want to give somebody 100% full proof blast to look at everything and this and that, you, you can just you know send them an email that lets them only look at like your vendors or something. Obviously, the biggest con from this is that security issues. Somebody could take this information and run off of somebody else. You have to be very trustworthy. Do not just throw this out aimlessly. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna click on the left-hand side. We're gonna to go to my accountant. An accountant can be your business partner, this and that. Um, you know what, let's not go to that. Let's go to the gearbox up here and go to manage users. Okay, here's our users up here. Uh, I don't know, don't send these to your personal friend or your people on your MySpace top eight. Here's me. Ba, 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 da, da. Access rights, master administrator, billable user. We haven't talked about bills yet. Uh, status active. Accounting firms down here. It's pretty much the same gist. So what we're going to do is we're going to add somebody. Now there's going to be, all right, we've already got some things showing up. And you might have a pop-up blocker. You might have to go to preferences and allow pop-ups for this because this is whatever the website where this re redirected from. Uh, maybe your QuickBooks blocks it. Maybe it doesn't. Regular custom user, company administrator, reports only, and time tracking only. There's really no right or wrong for the sake of this tutorial. I'm just going to click on regular or custom user, but I don't want them to have all of the rights. I want them to look at users, right? Maybe I'm going to give them no rights. They can just look at our stuff. They can't create invoices. They can't do nothing. Or we'll do it limited. Uh, vendors and purchases. Go to next. Is this an employee or a vendor? Uh, we'll call this... Go by name, we'll call this my mom, my mother. And should this should this user be able to fill out his or her own timesheet? No. My mother is an employer, employee. Quick ad. Uh, so users for timesheet, no, where did that? Um, user management, view manage details, add, delete, modify. I don't want my mom to have access to this. And there's no like right or wrong, I'm just, Company information, view only, looks good to me. Subscription and billing, uh, no. Shoot the email, charty. I think this is actually gonna go to her too. I think 554 at gmail.com, that's my mother. Charty554 at gmail. Gmama, gmail.com. Carol. C. Hardy. Email addresses do not match. Of course they don't. Charity, Cherry. Okay, Charity55 at AOL.com. Charity55 at AOL.com. Oh, shit, no. Forward, forward. Should show up right here. Carol Hardy, this and that. Um, they have to get the email to access it. To access it, they got to click on the link. Transfer master administrator. I highly recommend never ever doing that. Um, and then if we want to get rid of them, we will click on top or bottom, and we will click delete. And at the bottom, right down here, here's how you would ha add an accounting firm, and that's it. Uh, be very weary when you do this, and. If you're not sure, maybe give them the most kind of filters by default. And if they're like, hey, I can't get into that, I it, I can't click this out, then kind of look back at it and then give them access to it. Um, but that is how you add multiple users or send it to an accounting firm in QuickBooks Online. You guys rule and you guys are as cool as the other side of the pillow. We'll see you in the next video.